everyone. All right. <laughs> per usual, I am a mess. I have had a crazy month now. So yes, I apologize. It has been over, over three weeks since my last update on this channel. I am so sorry for that. Um, to keep things on the short, uh, I was running into some issues with keeping my full-time hours at work and I had to make a lot of overtime in order to keep myself full-time. Um, that is a lot due to the fact that I had COVID multiple times in the past year and it's just, it's been a, a year, three years, it's been, it's been, yeah. Anyways, so I have been working an average of about 62 hours a week for the past month. Um, sometimes 70 hours a week. And I had zero days off. Um, the only time I've had any days off are because I currently have been going through COVID again. That's what it took for me to get a day off. So it's been a rough one and I've not had a single day or night off until now and the first couple of days of being sick with this I was in no shape to be recording but here we are finally. So I am going to be completely honest that I've kind of lost track as to where I was in my last video uh, with updates on the Wagobi so I'm just kind of going to go over where we are now. I think I'm on week I don't know, have I done like 13 weeks now? I don't know, what day is it even today? <laughs> it's Saturday. Oh boy, it's rough. But anyways, so basically at this point in time, um, I, for anyone who is new to this channel, I just cover side effects, anything odd that's been going on um, with the medication, and then of course the weight loss aspect of everything. So side effects. Um, I want to say that there was a slight change. My appetite went down again a lot. I believe it was either in my latest update or one of the latest updates. I had mentioned that I felt like my appetite was slightly increasing again, um, but that I was trying to make sure I maintained proper eating habits and portion sizes. Um, I have had my appetite completely fall back off again now. Um, no changes as to like why I think that started. It got a little worse now that I've had COVID. Um, but, you know, even before I got, had the COVID, my appetite was really going down again. Um, so that's good. <laughs> as far as any other side effects, though, nothing has changed. Um, everything's pretty much been the same. I mean, I have been at this 2.4 milligram dosage for a while now, so I don't really expect any major changes because I'm not, you know, going up or down or anything like that on my doses. Um, as far as the weight loss goes, the weight loss, it's going, it's just kind of, I've hit like a, another lull. It's been like this on and off. Um, I did lose a little more. I'm at 189 pounds right now. I don't even remember what my last weigh-in was, but I was hanging out at the low 190s for quite a bit, and I would go down to like 190 on the dot, and I would go up suddenly to like 192, 193, and then go back down again. So I kind of like was going back and forth a little bit. Um, that being said, regardless of that, you know, I, I've still lost, and... I am still seeing changes occurring in how my clothes are fitting. Um, looking at myself, I still have a hard time seeing, hold on, my nose is running, give me okay. a second. <laughs> Yay, COVID. <laughs> but anyways, so um, yes, I don't see, when I look at myself like in the mirror, I really can't tell where I'm losing weight. But in my clothes, that's how I'm able to tell. I am at the... Uh, I, my belt is as tight as I can possibly make it now in my work clothes and it's starting to be loose. Um, my pants are becoming roomier and roomier around my thighs now. Um, my shirt, so my shirt, the, the way I'm noticing that that's kind of fitting differently now. So I have a button down shirt that I wear as part of my, my work costume. 
and when buttoning the two lowest buttons on my shirt I always had to kind of pull my shirt up over my butt so that I could properly button them and uh, I no longer have to do that my shirt can fit all the way around me and like the top of my butt and I can still button those buttons now so it may seem like a small thing but that is definitely a non-scale victory for me uh so yeah I'm still seeing those changes so that's excellent I'm very happy about that what I'm currently nervous about and I feel like I should have seen this coming and I think I mentioned it previously in a lot of areas Ozempic uh with Govi a bunch of those types of medications are going out of stock and they're having issues getting it back in stock and I only have one pen left and it's the one I need to take pretty soon um and I was alerted today the, from my pharmacy that Wigovi is uh, out of stock everywhere in the state. Uh, and they do not know when they're going to get more. Uh, the automated message from my pharmacy is that they're hoping to have it in the next few days. But speaking to a pharmacist, it sounded a little less promising. So I'm going to remain hopeful that, you know, it'll come back in stock. But there's definitely a big issue when it comes to the shortages of these medications. Um, it sounds like everywhere in this country, they're kind of dealing with this right now. So uh, if you are dealing with this as well, please let me know, even if it's just like your general like state or something where you're noticing that there are shortages. I'm very curious to know if this is, you know, continuing to get worse in, you know, like across the board or if, you know, they're finally getting it back in stock in certain areas. I'm very curious to know. Um, so let me know how things are around you if you're on this medication as well. But yeah, so that's kind of where I am at this point. Um, it's gotten really hectic. Like my whole apartment is a disaster right now because I've had no time off from work uh, until being sick now when I obviously don't want to clean or anything. Um, it's just a disaster and I feel like I'm just trying to get back on top of my life at this point. Uh, so it's tough. And then plus with COVID hitting me now, um, that's a, also a hit on my income, which really sucks. I was actually working those crazy weeks. I was catching up on my bills and everything and it was wonderful. I did like a really good like grocery shopping, like I bought what we needed for groceries and you know for some people they might think that that's no big deal but it's magical when you can do that <laughs> and so that was great and I definitely took advantage of the fact that I had money to get things that I needed to take care of like taking care of uh, to care of all my animals and made sure that we had what we needed in here and paid off some bills that I was like really far behind on but you know, it just shows that just a couple days of being out sick and it all comes crashing down again. And that's, that's scary, especially after working for weeks at nearly 70 hours that you can so quickly fall back into that again. But alas, you know, we're, we're still here and doing well and just gonna keep moving forward. But yeah, so that's pretty much that's been what's been happening and why I've been kind of gone. I promise I still love you all and I'm not going anywhere permanently. Um, I've been playing with the Tamagotchi Uni and uh, for anyone who's watched some of my other videos, you know, I'm super into virtual digital pet type things. So I've been having a blast playing with that one. I got the purple one for anyone else who got themselves one of those. I'm having a really great time on it. But that's basically it and now I've been sleeping and sleeping and resting and I'm hoping to go back to work uh, for a longer shift tomorrow and be okay the thing that sucks around here is that the heat index has been about 120 on the daily and that makes it rough even when you're in the best of health and especially when you work a job outside all day long for you know eight to ten hours that's that's rough on anybody so 
Um, I put I bought some cooling towels that I'm hoping are gonna keep helping me out uh, while I'm working outside, but we'll see. I don't think I've ever read up on whether or not the medication, the Wagovi, can like increase um, or you know make make dealing with the hot weather worse. If that made any sense, I know some medications can really. Uh, affect that especially like a lot of antidepressants I know I've been hearing uh, a lot about how people on antidepressants need to be extra careful <coughs> excuse me have to be extra careful about being in the heat because they're more prone to heat exhaustion and like dehydration and things like that uh, so regardless on the Wagovi I, I try to drink more anyways I was doing really poorly with that for a little while um and I've been better at it lately, so. And I've been using, I use my circle water bottle, and when I don't want anything flavored at work, I use my bottle here. It's really cute, hold on, I'll show you it. All right, here it is. It says, 100 years of music and wonder. It's got Stitch. Stitch is my favorite. Um, but it's really, really cute. Um, it's a cast member exclusive water bottle that they had that I grabbed as soon as I saw it. And I like the little carabiner up here. Oh, the carabiner. It's really cute. And this keeps my water cold literally like for 24 plus hours. Like if I put ice cold water in here. By the end of the day, I mean, there usually isn't water left in here, but if I forget or I go to my circle bottle instead, at the end of the day, the water will still be ice cold in here. So I love that, especially outside in the Florida heat. This has been a lifesaver for me to make sure I'm staying hydrated and keeping cool. Um, but that's basically it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy and happy and if you're struggling to find the medication in your area Wegovi or Ozempic, Sexenda, Manjaro, any of those types of medications I really hope that you have some luck finding it soon because I know it's a struggle for a lot of people right now and like I said earlier let me know where you are if you're having issues or if you're having better luck just uh because I like to know what's going on for everyone okay and uh yeah i'll see you all again pretty soon i want to film a an update video on some of my plants because i used to do a lot of plant videos and i have been recently acquiring some more succulents again um and getting like back on track with my plant care so yeah all right i'll see you all again very very soon have an awesome weekend